welcome to the Taskmaster Series 5 Grand Final! <laughs> now then, all good things must come to an end, but good things also come to those that wait. <laughs> Yet, time waits for no man. And let's not forget, no man is an island. Many hands make light work. <laughs> Yet, too many cooks spoil the broth. And you should never bite the hand that feeds you. This series, we've learned you can't always get what you want. So chin up, there's no time like the present. May the best man or woman win. <laughs> Your Taskmaster <laughs> Series 5 finalists are Ashling B, <laughs> Bob Mortimer, Mark Watson, Mish Kumar, and Sally Phillips. <laughs> and here, always here, forever here. It's Alex Horn. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You feeling ready for the big one? Not really. I'm, f I'm having a bit of a wobble, if I'm honest. Oh. I've, lost my, I've lost my bumper book of Proverbs. Can't find it. <laughs> and uh, I've also, I'm just worried about the wor you know, what's going on in the world. I've done a lot of reading and I just can't, just can't stand it anymore. You know, things like... Have you read about... 78% of the air is now nitrogen. Always has been. Has it? OK. Well, um, <laughs> crop circles. I read about crop circles. No? F the, the tooth fairy. I read... Thumb! Thumb? Hmm. <laughs> so what's the prize category for this big old final? Today we've asked them to bring in, it's a good one, the most awkward item for somebody else to take home. <laughs> So whoever's item you think would be the most awkward item to take home wins. And at the end of the episode, the person with the most points will take home all the awkward items, which will probably be quite tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mark Watson, what have you decided would be the most awkward thing to take home? I've brought in what I can only describe as a bathroom. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's a full bathroom suite? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this is pretty awkward to get home because obviously, I mean, it, I, I know him, in fact, because it's a hell of a hassle to get it here. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you bring it here? It is here as well. But yes, I brought it here. So there's a toilet, a bath and a sink, as you can <laughs> see. And uh, I, I have to say, it wasn't an easy few uh, weeks of my life. No, it or, or I'll be honest with you, Mark, and I hope this isn't insulting. I find it hard to believe you could even pick up a piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice. Yeah. Looks like you'll have a nice bath in it. Nice washing your face. It looks like that toilet's going to take a heavy payload, so well done. <laughs> Do you want to move on to Bob? Uh, yes, please. OK. Oh, man, I bought a... I love Katie Hopkins hat. And I, I no longer believe in it. You no longer believe in no, it? No, I did then, I don't know. Yeah, it's not just um, the Katie Hopkins hat, though. You also brought in the T-shirt, oh, we can God. see. Uh, it is awkward. They are awkward items, Bob, obviously. I mean, I would argue you could pop them in a bag. Oh, Who's yeah. next? OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nish Kumar? I've bought 14 kilograms of curry. <laughs> <laughs> would that be awkward? I mean, look, let's take me for an example. Would that be awkward for me to get out of the studio? Well, it's in a wok. <laughs> Let's role-play it, Alex. I'll get on the tube. OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What have you got there? 14 kilograms of curry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you seem to have dropped your news, newspapers. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Ashley? Um, I'm going to force one of you guys to bring home a giant cardboard cutout of me. It's me doing the big thumbs up. Which yeah, is my it is a big thumbs up. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. The big thumbs up. That's a giant... <laughs> I wouldn't think that would be awkward to take that out, personally. I think it's, you know, perfectly nice. Oh. I've got one of me. We can swap this if you want. <laughs> Mine are £36 on Amazon. <laughs> or well, £34.97 oh, with they've free. they've gone down for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? The last. To go with Sally Phillips. I brought uh, loads of helium balloons. Loads and loads oh, of helium balloons. A uh, hundred or something. And <laughs> if you're a bloke, that'd be awkward and embarrassing to get home because <laughs> everyone will say to you, ha, ha, ha. And <laughs> if you're a girl, uh, they'll lift you off into the sky and you'll go off to Paradise Falls. <laughs> <laughs> they would lift a three kilogram weight, that many, a penguin chick. Right. <laughs> go on then, Greg. Rate 
the prizes? Um, I'm putting Bob's uh, uh, T-shirt in last place because I believe you could put it in a bag. <laughs> okay. One uh, point. I'm putting Ashling's in second to last place because I think it's a perfectly nice cutout of her. Yeah. Um, three. Um, you just pop some balloons, put Sally in there. OK. Uh, Nish. Nish, the curry. It might be too big for some people. I'd gobble that bad boy down and <laughs> slim <laughs> cat off it. So the winner, with, without question, the most awkward item to remove, is a full bathroom, and it's Mark <laughs> Watson. <laughs> So at this point, I can tell you uh, what the series scores are. It's exciting. Ooh. We are in the final with 97, a massive 97, <laughs> Nish Kumar. Yeah. Woo! 97. 97. 97. And the next person, nowhere near you. <laughs> Sally's on 116. <laughs> <laughs> then we go to 118 for Ashling, 123 for Bob, 124 Ooh. for Mark. So, here we go. What's the first proper task of this final episode? Well, obviously, it's more coconut. Mmm. <laughs> oi, oi! Hi, Alex. Oh, hello, Bob. Whew. Oh, heavy door today. Yes. You right? This old chestnut. Coconut. <laughs> Get this coconut as far from here as possible. You may not touch the ground. I am touching the ground. You're touching the rug at the moment. You're, you're OK at the moment. You may not step on anything more than once. The coconut may not travel by car. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. So I, I, I can't touch the ground? No, thank you. Jesus. Right, OK. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, at this moment in time, I'm thinking of throwing it. Mm. I, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> the main rule here is you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to step on the ground at any point. You're not allowed to touch the ground. But you're only allowed to step on one thing once. So right now, I'm stepping on this carpet. That's fine, I can move around it. But once I'm off it, I can't get back on it. So I'm now stranded on a chair. Mm. So I would... Sweet butt. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that's the only reason I stood on the chair. <laughs> so that's the rules. So you have to get the coconut as far away as possible without stepping on the ground or anything else more than once. We're going to start off with three of them, Ashling, Bob and Nish. Do you have a photocopy here? We've got a printer. I'm looking for a ream of paper, Alex. Yeah, we've got... there'll be a ream of paper in the printer. OK. We're going to have to go out that back door. Jump! Oh, whoa! So you're now off the rug. You can't go back on the rug. Piss and shit! Still on the carpet. Still part of my first step. I'm going to have to throw it over the gate. OK. There. And here I go. Mutt! Could you open the gates, please, Alex? Yes. I'm down, fuck you! I'm down, fuck you! As I thought it might, I hit the hedge. There it is. It's natural It's like a little bear poo. <laughs> Take off my trousers. So you're on that mat. I'm on the mat. I'm going to try and chuck this. Over there. Okay. I'm just going to make sure there's no one standing over there. Yep. So I'm standing on this now. I'm going to bowl it. One, two, three. Oh, it rolled back towards the house. <laughs> Everybody, hold on to your butts. Grand final. <laughs> I will say that it rolled back quite close to you. You could have thrown it again. 
Back inside. That was the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> four minutes left. There were four minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> it was so close. Same with Bob, presumably, who very... Uh... Well, no, oh, he, he couldn't get to it because it was on the ground, whereas Nish could mm. reach it. Ah. Uh, uh. You're like a finely trained athlete, though, because you said, oh, oh no, I fucked it, I think I'm quoting yeah. there. As it left your hand, you knew from yes. the swing. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> we were quite relieved when you missed the busy road, though, with the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued by your decision, Ashley, not to throw over the fence, but to uh, <laughs> bowl under. <laughs> it, it was on a hill. Ah. So it came back to me. The old bowl it up a hill mistake. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Just stop. It's the first of the last breaks. Bye for now. To the Taskmaster Grand Final, Alex. Do please fill us in on the latest gossip. Okay, one of the one of the mums at school was thinking of moving to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, yes. So uh, before the advert, <laughs> Madrid. People were trying to get a coconut as far away as possible without touching the ground. This is Mark Watson's attempt. Right. So, I mean, like, we'll just. I can sort of do this, for example. Yeah. You can't now go back on the map. Ah, because of the rules. Hmm. Please, actually, about that. So, yes, it's going to be fiddly, this, isn't it? And of course, I've left the coconut by. It can be used as a bridge. All right, I'm on the mat. I tell you what, Ariel, let's go for a whirl. Um. Get a bit higher up. Okay. Yep. You're right. Yep. Hey. Yeah. Is this all right for you? We can get to the river. Uh, I'll drop it in there. Three minutes forty-five. Uh, we'll be all right. Okay, that'll do it. Thank you, Ariel. I'm now going to hurl the coconut into the river, and at that point, the distance that the coconut has travelled is for other people to determine. <laughs> Thing. I'll be thinking about it for the rest of my life. <laughs> I don't want to exaggerate the importance of it psychologically, but it probably will be the last thing I think about before I die. <laughs> you might not have actually touched the ground. We, I mean, we could just check the, check the footage. Have okay. Have, have a look. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you lost to a complete buffoon. <laughs> Oh, God, I, it hadn't even occurred to me that Nish has beaten me. <laughs> <laughs> at least your actual coconut throw at the end was impressive. Mm. All of it was impressive, apart from the bit where I destroyed my life, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Last up, it's Philip Sally's. <laughs> <laughs> I may not touch the ground, but you may touch the ground, Alex. Yes, I can touch the ground. I would like to ask you to take this coconut to the post office and post it to my friend in Fiji. Um, what's in it for me? What's in it for you? Mm. What, are you, a good, are you a good demanding payment, are you? Are you? I could tattoo you, if you like. Could draw all over your arse a pastoral scene. Well, I'll just take the coconut. Yeah, you take the coconut to the post office. I'll give you my credit card. You oh, can okay. pay for the whole thing, like a box. Mm. It's, my, it's in my bag. Oh, you want me in to go my, get I want you to go get my bag, yeah. Okay, you're just going to sit on the table? I'm going to sit on the table. Yeah, that's it, that's the one. Maybe I'll send it to the Prime Minister of Fiji. The Prime Minister of Fiji, fourth floor government buildings, new wing, Fiji. Right, I need Good to luck. Out. Quickly. Thank you. Speed. Right. Prime Minister of Fiji. And the great thing about this is it requires such little effort from myself. Um, did it make it to Fiji? No, I, it made it to East Sheen Post Office, where I was told uh, there's a list of restricted items that you can send to Fiji. <laughs> Fresh fruit and flowers, roots, crops, rice, mushrooms and coconuts. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not an expert, but something tells me Fiji's probably got coconuts covered. <laughs> I can show you on a map how far they all got. There's the house. The first one, 33 metres away, that's Bob. Uh, then we've got Ashling's at the back of the house, a little bit further. 
Nish, obviously, in exactly <laughs> the same place. Then the river there. It's irrelevant, but that's Mark Watson's. And then 1.1 miles away in East Sheen. <laughs> five points to Sally Fuller. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly five points to Sally Fuller. I think it's time to see the scoreboard, isn't it, Alex? It is time, and it's it's time for the final. There are three people in third place. Sally Phillips is in the lead at the moment with eight points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> OK, another task, please, Alex. Right you are, Greg, and little warning, this one is quite graphic. Ooh. Mm. Whistling a happy tune for you, Alex. Thank you, Bob. What's the haps? I don't know what you mean. How are you doing? Unfortunately, I, I'm sorry, but I've dropped the task. Not on porpoise, but I've dropped it. Ah. It fell on the floor, and then some of my loose change fell on it, and then some sand fell on it. I've got this, though. What? Does it have to be like a metal detector? Just sweep it slowly and low. Even lower. I, I meant the, the detector. <laughs> oh. There! Got it. Oh, thanks, Bob. I'm not going without the cash, though. No, that's for you. Fancy sitting on that. You can sit on the head. <laughs> Why not? Create the best graph. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Um, I caved his skull in there with my arse. <laughs> OK, reiterate what the task was. The task was now. create the best graph. OK. That's all it was. Any sort of graph. Graph. <laughs> a graph. <laughs> a graph. Yeah. A graph. Exactly, a graph. This isn't a London-centric show. Hmm. You can say graph. I have said graph. Say graph. Graph. <laughs> say graph. Graph. <laughs> Shall we see the funny contestants make graphs now? OK. This is their graph making. Let me just remember how a graph works. Have you started yet? You can't rush genius. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm using the landscape. Oh, do you know omnipurpose jaws of doom graph? I don't know that. That's quite good. The biggest urinators in the British Isles are the Scottish. Why's that? That's because their water's so delicious. Ah! My graph! <laughs> How far in that direction can I go? Because if your I... graph, Mark. Oh, cows don't have it easy. Or oxen, do they? So I'll make it as big as possible because the graph is meant to represent all the people that have ever lived and all the time we've ever been. I find this quite disturbing. Can I ask what units we're talking about? Units of piss. Y yeah. <laughs> Beach ball? Where's that? Oh. <laughs> big graph, Mark. Or is it, it finished, you're saying? It's not finished. To complete it, here's what we do. I'm really pleased with my draw. <laughs> Nish Kumar, <laughs> a 3D graph. We can see here this is pre labels. <laughs> As a straight line, you're yeah, I was unconventional. <laughs> <laughs> that vertical line is a chubby old fun. <laughs> Right. This is what is represented on the graph. <laughs> That's so the amount of time you spend with me, the more fun you have. And I think we can all agree, Nish. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to move on to the biggest graph of them all. It's 60 metres by 60 metres. It's an alfresco graph. Here's Mark Watson's graph. So that was taken with a drone, and for scale, those little dots at the bottom are balls. Do you want to talk us through it, Mark? So this is a graph of how people have voted, uh, which party they've voted for, but across the whole of time and the whole of humanity ever. It is an <laughs> eternal electoral graph. Correct me if I'm wrong, on, on this, and I, I hope you don't mind me saying this, light entertainment show, <laughs> I, what you've produced is a graph that shows the pointlessness of democracy. <laughs> Not, um, <laughs> not just of democracy, but of all human endeavour, basically. But to be fair, if people are watching Taskmaster, they realise that already. <laughs> um, 
Would you like to look at Sally's omnipurpose jaws of doom? Is that her graph? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> there it is. The y-axis says sex. The x-axis <laughs> oh, says time. And she's represented want and get with the lines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the latest in a series <laughs> of incidences with Sally where she's made it very clear <laughs> that um, she wants more sex in her life. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's a bit like fossil fuels and the ozone layer. Yeah. You know, the time for graphs has probably stopped and we, all, we should all huddle together and see what we're going to do about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! That's great. That's great. That's wonderful to hear. Thank you so much. My work here is done. Thank you. <laughs> see you all. <laughs> It's the end of part two already. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> Great to have you back. What was happening before that? Welcome pause, Alex. Well, we've been seeing the competitors designing graphs on a beach, Greg. And now it's time uh, to have a look at Ashling B's graph. She did this one. This is my graph to show how many women have been on Taskmaster versus men. And the men are represented by a, a mannequin with a broken hand and a pair of pants. And the women are a mess. Um, <laughs> just a head and a hand there, which is all you really need if you're a woman. Well, it's a very worthy sentiment. Is the graph any good? Just numbers-wise, you've implied that on the first series, if you follow the graph up, that there were the same number of men and women, and there were loads more men back then. <laughs> so, graph-wise... So, actually... do, you know, do you know what's the worst thing about this? Um, two men are going to explain to me, and rightly so... <laughs> 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 oh, shit. I think it's more serious than that. I think that graph has done women a disservice. Yeah, yeah. I think it might have set us back, Sal. Well, uh, it's it's anti-feminist. We're criticising the graph, not the sentiment. <laughs> um, who's next? It's Bob's. It's fairly obvious what this represents. <laughs> <laughs> on the y-axis, uh, as we all know, it's units of urine, and on the, <laughs> on the X, it's the counties of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> if you're thinking of collecting vast amounts of piss, go up to Dumfries and Galloway. <laughs> which I was. H if you, you only want small amounts, e.g. for household use, <laughs> you might like to consider East Sussex. How, um, how did you get these statistics? <laughs> no, they're uh, absolutely accurate, cos I was looking into purchasing... <laughs> Gallons of piss. Because <laughs> I was in dispute with the Woolwich Ferry man. I thought, fuck it, I'll fill his boat with piss. <laughs> where, do, where do I need to go? <laughs> so people in Dumfries and Galway piss about ten times as much as people in East Sussex. Oh, they literally can it stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only had time to stop for the one scotch yeah. pie, and then the stream stopped. <laughs> You, what a life we have! <laughs> the Gulf Stream passes past Dumfries, Galloway, and I was told that's the reason why they produce so much urine. You were quite adamant at the time that it wasn't average per person, this is total amount. And Dumfries, it's not a big county. Not a big county at all. Not a big county, but you've, yeah, an awful lot. And as you were doing it, you said, well, when you know the facts, lob them down. <laughs> <laughs> And I ask them, if I have to die and, and the final thing in my head is the image of Bob Mortimer <laughs> harvesting piss <laughs> to exact revenge on the owner of a boat. Really <laughs> <laughs> big boat. That'll do, mate. Yeah, bit, that will do. That'll be a good way to <laughs> go. Yeah, that'll be a great yeah. way to go. I'm going to make a quick judgement on this. I can't um, draw much of a distinction between Ashling's feminist crusade, Sally's cry for hot action, <laughs> and Mark's... Uh, Oh, God, I can't even remember what Mark's was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put those three together. Third. Joint third. OK. Um, and this is going to surprise you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put Bob's piss graph in second place, purely because Birmingham was on there and I come from near Birmingham and I pissed like a big old wheel. 
That is true. <laughs> so, um, for one of very few occasions... I mean, he's doing very badly in the show so far. Oh, God, across the series, he's been truly awful. <laughs> but the sheer simplicity of his chubby fun graph, Nish Kumar wins this round. <laughs> Greg, we've got a very quick task now for not all of you. <laughs> Make the most fish puns. Most fish puns wins. You have one minute. Your time starts now. Uh, puns. Car Stop carping on. Uh, uh... <gasps> Can't do this. Uh, I can you make lots of fish puns? I trout it. I trout it very much. Um, my I've got my herring in a bun. My herring in a bun. I can sing a rainbow trout. Sing a rainbow trout. Sing a rainbow trout to. Um, uh, he's not very tunaful. Uh, um, me no understand English. Um, I can't think of any fish. Angel fish. Um, send in the clownfish. That's not really a pun. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, darling. <laughs> all right, I thought we were all done. I'm confused, Alex, because uh, did you only ask Sally to? No, she didn't do it by herself. She, oh. uh, she was up against me. I've also tried to get as many fish puns as possible in one minute. OK. Do you want to see how I did? Uh, yeah. OK. This is my go. I don't want to cup on about it, but I'm worried that they might be construed. construed Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. It's a lovely place, though, isn't it? It's a beautiful place. And you used a, a tuna baked beans. <laughs> tuna baked beans. I can get you something to perch on. Yeah. There are three tasks in a row for you there. OK. Let me know when it's close enough. <laughs> Oh, I've already got a haddock. Just. Had a <laughs> How do you feel? Fine. Okay, I feel a little bit tense, but fine. Fine. That was very official. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I haven't got very good hearing. <laughs> I think I heard you okay. I'm you sorry, but it. I've dropped the task. Not on purpose, but I've dropped it. <laughs> so Alex uh, took it upon himself to go into um, secret competition with Sally. Yeah. I tried really hard every time we spoke to say some a fish word. Did you ever notice? I just thought you were bad at speaking. <laughs> <laughs> that means we can now look at the scoreboard. The scoreboard now looks like this. <laughs> so Nish Kumar is the joint leader with Sally Phillips. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, you can get your face off that scoreboard for a start. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll batter you to death with an iron bar. <laughs> <laughs> Better. OK. Last location task of the series, then. That's right. And we're going to end with a song. Hello. 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 You? Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, all right. Do you, do, do, you, you, do we... Do we strike you? <laughs> Should I take the task from this lady? Or, uh... Would you like to? Yes, I suppose so, yeah. I'll, I'll take the task. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, we can so do this. I write and perform a song about this woman. Best yeah. song wins. You have five minutes to talk to the woman. And then 30 minutes to write her a song. The time starts now, so we need to gather as much information okay. as we can. Hi, so what's your name? Rosalind. Where are you from originally? Southport. What do you do for a living? Yeah. Um, Japanese translator. Do you have children? Yes, got two sons. Two, are they good men? Yes, they, they're a bit inept at things, but that's fine. So what do you do to pass yeah. the time? I'm an athletics official, track judge, and I do long jump and uh, the sprints. Long jumper, Long leaping. Jumper. Who's your favourite band of all time? Music Good idea. might lead us to some music. Good idea. Ooh, like Mozart. 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 One of my favourite so bands as well. well. Have you stolen much in your life? Yeah. Well, when I was about ten, I used to do a little bit of sort of sweetie shoplifting with my best friend Elaine. I also play the cello. 
great. Do you play cello with anyone or you? Yeah, string quartet, yeah. My, my husband and a couple of friends. And what's the name of your... Um... My husband is called Alan. And did you ever do it in public, or was it just...? Yeah, it's not normally when people are sitting in rows watching. It's, yes. It's just the sound. Do you eat meat, Rosalind? Um, as long as it's kosher. Which ah. sort, what's your favourite meat? Chicken, I suppose. Chickens. Mm. What's uh, your favourite film? Oh, Hangover. Hangover 1 and 2. Oh, favourite food? Oh, beans on toast. Yeah, quite right. Can I just ask, are the other two in the string quartet, are they a couple as well? They used to be, and then oh. one got um, septicemia, so he lost the use of three fingers in his oh, left yeah. hand. Would you like yeah. to be able to fly? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's first four questions. <laughs> Do we strike you? <laughs> Have you ever stolen? What is your favourite meat? Would you like to be able to fly? <laughs> Thankfully, he had teammates to take up the slack. <laughs> Do you want to see uh, Mark and Nish first? Yes, I do, please. OK, so this, for the first time ever, is Mark and Nish's Song for a Stranger. Hello, Great Britain. Hello. How are you all feeling out there? We're all fine, thank you. <laughs> and now's the time that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the band. Good, good evening, London. <laughs> uh, we are the, uh, the Diverse Stripes. I am Jack Brown, and this is my wife's sister, Mark. <laughs> this is uh, called I'm Always Seeing You, open brackets, do cool stuff. Close bracket. All right. And one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. I saw you translate a poem from Japanese. It looked so tricky, but you did it with ease. I saw you judging long jump at the athletics. I felt so low, cause it's born, I'm just pathetic. I'm always seeing you do cool stuff. I try my best, but it's never good enough. I saw you watch the Hangover DVD But I was busy with the Hangover Part 3 I saw you listening to the Mozart Symphony But my attention span is, hey, look at that tree <laughs> Two, three, four I'm always seeing you do cool stuff I try my best, but it's never Good enough I wanna serve you beans on toast but it's a fantasy, it's nothing but a boast You come from South, but I live miles away in Ballam And I'm a coward and I feel a rather valid I'm always seeing you do See cool, you stuff. cool stuff I try my best, but it's never Good enough Good enough One more time I'm always seeing you do cool stuff I try my best, but it's never Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Something in my eye. <laughs> I mean, mm. unbelievable. Right? <laughs> Who would have thought Mark Watson was a drummer? <laughs> I, I, I think you may have just sh shaken off the whole heron thing. <laughs> I had no idea. No idea Nish could sing or play guitar. That was a, a miracle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and all that time, she just sat there, absolutely no expression on her face. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time in an entire series where I've got nothing negative to say to you. <laughs> Congratulations on your brilliant song. <laughs> 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 I'm afraid the end is nigh. See you soon for the final part of the show when we find out who has won both episode and series. <laughs> Part of the grand final. We ride this wave now until the end of the credits. Over to you, Alex. Please bring us up to speed. I will. Uh, they are writing songs for a stranger, a multifaceted stranger called Rosalind. We've heard Mark and Nish's affectionate tune. Now we're going to hear <laughs> Ashling, Bob, and Sally's. Uh, <laughs> this is their song. <laughs> Hello, lady. <laughs> Welcome to Toscanbury Festival. 
They've got soul. You know them as the POC. Here they are. Hello, Tuscanberry. Hello. Hello. Oh, welcome. That's nice you. Um, wow, <laughs> what a rush. We are a product of conception. conception and we're delighted to bring you here today our debut track, which is called Quite Good Considering. Quite Good Considering. Let's have the music. Rosalie. Rosalind is from Southport, Rosalind's so sweet. Rosalind was a news agent, but she won't eat meat. Unless it's chicken. Rosalind has two sons, they are good men, but inept. Rosalind is a thief, but it keeps her out of debt. Rosalind, geriatric athlete, she just quite far for a woman. String quartet Fiddling with her friends You know that is how they met The great thing about Alan Alan could not be dreamier But the viola player sadly Well he contracted septicemia Rosalind's a fucking nightmare She's just quite like hard for a woman But not in front of people, not in front of people. Thank you. That's for you, Rosalind. Too bad. Too very bad. different, <laughs> very different takes on the same one. <laughs> that is one of the bravest lines in rock history. <laughs> Rosalind is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> but is Rosalind here? I think she might. Rosalind. Oh my God! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've never met her before. No. Never met her since. You just sang But we that. captured the essence of her. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really loved Mark and Nish's song. I yeah. thought it was genuinely beautiful. It also really delighted me having a very nice woman have <laughs> Rosalind as a fucking nightmare song in her face. <laughs> Honestly, because I genuinely thought I saw a tear in Mark's eye, I'm going to give three points to Nish and Mark oh. and I'm going to give two points to the other two. <laughs> Well, please all head to the stage for the final task of the series! <laughs> Here we are then. This looks uh, pretty straightforward. Who's going to read the task out? Sally Phillips. Hello, Sally. Hi. The final task of the series. It's a privilege and a pleasure. Throw your egg. Bonjour. Through the hoop and catch it as many times as possible. You may not touch the net or post. Most successful <laughs> hoop catch combo wins. You have 100 seconds and one egg. <laughs> Thank you, Sally. So just to make it absolutely clear oh. to everybody, Mark, if you yeah. drop the egg, it's over. The entire egg has to go through the hoop. So once the egg is broken, you're done. So you can't, <laughs> you can't touch... You can't touch the net or the hoop. You've just got to throw that egg through as many times as you can. Your time starts. Okay.
Talk me through the egg catching then, Alex. We know the winner of this task was Mr. Bob Mortimer. <laughs> We know these. We know these three. Unfortunately, didn't get any eggs or points. Uh, Sally caught the egg, but it didn't go entirely through the hoop. Would you like to put her in second place? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe I would. Yay! Well, Sally gets four points. <laughs> Which means the final scoreboard looks like this. Oh! <laughs> Sally just picked Bob. Sally wins all the awkward things to take home. Yes, oh, please go and get them! <laughs> Let's hear it one more time for Sally! It's the moment that every single person in the world has been waiting for. The time to crown our glorious champion. The series has seen so many Taskmaster firsts. There's been the birth of a fully grown adult, <laughs> an intimate car boot cuddle, the invention of Kumarmite, <laughs> the cutlery-based fourth instalment of the Taken film franchise, Took. And I've received some sordid text messages from a heron. <laughs> but now... <laughs> It's over to Alex to announce the final series scores. Nish got triple figures. Nish got 107 yeah. points. <laughs> <laughs> triple figures! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the rest did much better. <laughs> and we have Ashling B on 126. <laughs> Sally! Sally Phillips and Mark Watson, 130 points. <laughs> The winner is Mr. Bob Mortimer! Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of the fifth series of Taskmaster is Bob Mortimer! Yeah! Please, please. Everybody. Thank you to our contestants, but especially to our phenomenal victor, Bob Mortimer. Yeah! Thank you for watching, everybody. Good night. I'm gonna serve your beans on toast. The little fantasy is nothing but a ghost. I'm from South Florida, the Bible Wing Valley. And I'm a coward and I feel a rather valley. I'm always seeing you do the most stuff. I try my best, but it's never good enough. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.